had an error selection mode we go it seems like we'll be going for um yukakina is gonna come out from awz uh, g side we're gonna submit a yuka for brontal here it's gonna be wax artist against this type of team comp we're gonna be able to see that female dancer antiquarium mercenary and of course the aeroplanist in regards to this team comp i guess for i guess it's not too bad because if you think about it right, Aeroplanus does kind of fit pretty well in Big Boat as well because you can immediately hop her up towards Big Boat from the small planks on towards the side. But aside from that, Fumal Dancer being a shock simply because of the fact that there's actually two pallets near, near shock and a, uh, you know, a pallet a window to use and a multiple pallets near beach as well. But I guess for now, Anti Current would be more or less of a weird area to be in. Uh, depends on what Yukai here decides to bring as well. It really depends on what Yuka here decides to bring as well. But um, if it's going to be peepers, I guess... If it's going to be peepers, I do think Annie Kurenkar will take quite easily. But maybe for female dancer, not so much. Even though you do have, you know, ballet, slow music boxes. There's... There, that will be an issue if Wax Artist has actually decided to bring Insolence here. But anyways, let's move on towards the game. It's going to be Insolence Trump card here. Which... Uh, with peepers for wax artists, we're gonna be looking for Paddy P first. Mm, in regards to that, right, it probably wouldn't be the best option here to actually go after Aeroplanus, even though you may say Aeroplanus, you know, uh, he can only hover away so he can still land wax on him. But like, for each hover, you're gonna pull out so much distance. And I guess for wax artists, if it was if it was a teleport, I probably would have been more happy about it. But it's, it's peepers, so we should be able to see where Aeroplane is this at all times. But Aero also does have his next hover up to go as well, so he's going to pull quite a little bit of a distance here away from the area. Now, that wasn't the best. Let's say that wasn't the best distance pulling because I feel like he definitely could have went um, underneath that window. But still, on this side, no, not too bad of a bad area for, you know, Wax Artists to be in. That's 99% Wax and we're going to be able to land that last one, get a normal hit and immediately rush out here. Okay, 60 seconds in towards the game now right now. We know that there's no blink, so all that matters here is for us to actually get upstairs and off of and away from this area right now. For now, I guess what matters is we need to be able to vault over, but with that window being locked in the aeroplane, there's no items remaining. Let's see here, Cypher Machine White, it's almost 3 Cypher Machine done, so let's just say it's a pretty good containment here from, uh, from, from who again? Who's this guy? From Aeroplanist. From Aeroplanist. Two and a half Cypher Machines, okay, we see Mercy on the move, we see anti Korean rushing towards Mercy Cypher. Last Cypher, it's a bit further away than I thought it would be, it would probably be forcing Mercy to actually decode up in Big Boat here instead. But of course, from Female Dancer side, mm, Female Dancer and anti Korean right now, not that much of a good situation, not that much of a good, of a good situation, honestly. But I guess for Mercy here, there's just one elbow pad in. And that's going to be a normal hit rescue. Okay, no problem at all. We're going to be able to see anti current here nearby with the body block potential. That's going to be a normal hit on towards anti bush. Anti can do quite a bit here. Anti's main job is to stun as much as possible and allow aeroplanes to contain. Aeroplanes rebound kite containment here can definitely go up to 40 seconds. That's the scary part. That's honestly speaking the scary part of it all. We're going to be able to deploy another peepers down. We're definitely going to be able to see where anti current is. But I guess with max presence here as well, uh, wax artist. We're probably going to be opening hot wax here. Yeah, we are going to be opening hot wax here. Seems like we predicted anti Kern will actually bring flywheel instead, so that's a bit unfortunate. That's going to be 100 wax down. anti current on... anti current wax is actually going down right now, but... We did buy quite a bit of time. It's still a tie game. It definitely is still a tie game right now. It's just a matter of time, let's say, because none of them have actually started the last life machine just yet. Seems like we're going to have the female dancer coming in to give slow music box support. Also, that Cypher Machine is going to be locked immediately too. It seems like Mercy wants to come in too. Cypher Machine locations are pretty bad right now. We decided to go after Aeroplanes because there was two Cyphers here. Last Cypher Machine towards, towards the other corner. Going to be a little bit hard to do though. It's really going to be a little bit hard to do. There's currently two survivors at half health. So we're going to have to force the cell here. Okay, teleportation coming in immediately. You know where fem not female dancer anti current is. That's going to be the pallet destruction. And a little bit weird for trying the blob box there immediately. I won't lie, a little bit weird. But anti current should still be able to rotate out from this area. Or, or wax. Oh, wax artists can just open hot wax here. Realistically speaking, just open hot wax and get a normal head down. Okay, no problem here at all. There we go. There goes down the anti current. We get a pickup. There is done basement, but. 
probably wouldn't be for the best. We'll be looking forward to locking that Cypher Machine first instead though. So Female Dancer will be forced out. Female Dancer will 100% be forced out right now. That's a 90% Cypher Machine. A very scary decoding progress here. But I guess in a nutshell, what will happen here is it's just if you decide to decode, I will hit you. That's probably what's on, what's on Waxart's uh, brain right now. It's on his mind, not on his brain at all. We do have Flywheel. We definitely do have Flywheel. It's gonna be... We're probably gonna fly with a normal hit here. Flywheel, very nice flywheel. We're gonna be able to get normal rescue and anti current wouldn't go down here. Anti current wouldn't go down here just yet, but we're gonna have to lock that cipher machine. No matter what happens here, that cipher is priority. Okay. So female dancer currently becoming the next chase here. Um I don't necessarily think we need to land any walks on female dancer, but just getting her down here is the main important part of it all. We are going to rush out to decode new cypher machines. Mercenary is still trying to finish that 80 something percent cypher machine. Which simply means that there's a huge chance for Female Dancer to actually be an after half rescue. Because once that cypher machine pops, we we know where like Mercenary is. We know where Mercenary is. So cypher machine has currently popped. We're going to rush out a little bit here and try look for the Mercenary. Even with that side note though, survivors can definitely finish the cypher machines. That 90% cypher machine is going to be pretty scary. It just depends on when Mercy is going to come in, I guess. Because Mercenary is pretty far away. And for Antiquarian, Antiquarian can't really contain a wax artist. So if Yukakina actually does a really bold, you know, teleport here, Mercy wouldn't be able to actually rescue the the, 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 the Antiquarian. But that will also allow the survivors to get a tie anyways, because like, once you use up your teleport wax artist, it's just a walking hunter anyway, so that doesn't matter at the end of the day. Now, let's see here once again, we're going to be able to get the 100% uh, wax, that's going to be a hot wax, and that's going to be an immediate down. Okay, teleportation is ready. We are most likely going to be looking for teleport soon. We're most likely going to be looking for teleport soon, but for you got King I here, we're going to guarantee the tree man elimination for STR survivors. It's honestly going to be pretty hard. It's honestly going to be pretty hard here for SCR survivors. But we are just going to have to see. Um, we are pulling distance. No, we are cheering. If we are cheering, let's just see if Anti can actually get the uh, one-man escape here. So, we're going to skip forward a little bit here. We do have Tinnitus. Tinnitus has popped. Anti current mid managed to move down. But there goes on Anti current. Let's congratulate the win here for Yukakina. Moving on to our second half. Let's see here, another one of Egoite's picks. It's gonna be Clown against, it's gonna be Clown against Anti-Current Female Dancer Forward and the Toy Merchant. It's a bit hard, it's a bit hard. A Clown full counter is anti -Quarium. Female Dancer, mm, Female Dancer can somehow counter uh, a Joker because of the slow music box. So Female Dancer can uh, kind of vault over pilot her window a little bit easier. And I do think it's probably just a forward that does have a little bit of a problem, but since four pulls down pilot fast, most of the time, when four pulls on a pallet, the you know the rocket launcher wouldn't really register as a survivor hit. It'll just hit the pallet instead there. So there's a lot of things here we have to consider. There is 100% a lot of things we have to consider, but we are just gonna have to see how Ego actually aims for this form elimination. Now, we need to be able to slug survivors somehow. Preferably, if we can slug forward here. That's for the best. But um, we also would prefer to be the side of slug anti current instead because forward slope decoding, so it doesn't matter if he gets slug or not in, in a sense. But yeah, we are going to be able to have toy merchant, female dancer, anti querian, and forward. We're going to be going against clown here. Um, for sur survivors, only need a woman escape to win, so it's not too bad. But for, for a clown, what matters is 60 second down and then slug nation time. If once you can guarantee that woman elimination, there's still two cypher machine remaining, you can at least still slug. But of course, from the survivor side, we want to waste as much as forwards, uh, not forward, uh, Joker's items here as possible. So if we're really, really, really going to go look for Clown, probably wouldn't be the best choice here. Let's see, Joker immediately going to look for items. We currently have three rockets, four rocket modifications, including the one that's currently being pulled. And everyone's pretty far away. For survivors here, yes, there is TP, but not TP, there is blink. But even if there is blink, look at the drop down point here in two story. The drop down point in two story is going to be the scariest point of it all. And like, Big Bo is just such a huge counter for Joker. It's really hard. It's honestly speaking, really hard to rotate around this area. So, very nicely done by Joker. Very, very nicely done by Joker. Very nice drift spot. In a nutshell, it's really hard to do. Uh, it may look easy, but those tight spots are really easy to hit. Really, really easy to hit. You need to have some stable hands. But anyways, we're going to be able to see anti current nearby here. But even with Anti... No, that's not Anti. That's Toy Merchant. Toy Merchant flywheel is red. No flywheel. That's a tie turner. Ooh, Toy Merchant. Not good. 
actually speaking not good but you know what toy merch is going towards her niche spot right now so all what you need all what you need is to catapult down and be ready to jump we're just waiting to jump we're going to be able to jump over right now right here this moment and it's back up the stairs we go but it seems like oh it seems like we're going to be able to lock the area and toy merchant very nicely done actually by toy merchant one Oh my god, one, one catapult to lock the area away from Joker and just by cr crouching out, hiding the footprints here, we'll still be able to get Tinnitus, but seems like Igor here is going to be lost for a very long time. Toy Merchant's uh, cooldown is already over as well for catapults, so with that in mind, that's a huge ouch moment. That is honestly speaking a huge ouch moment Toy Merchant. We're going to be able to jump here. We're going to be able to jump here once again, Igor. Finally losing that first rocket though, but by looking at the game right now, we are going to be breaking that thankfully. But there's another catapult outside there, so that's, that's, this is some huge IQ gameplay. This is a really new, really, really new way on countering Joker. This is very strong as well. I do, I do think that that can actually stop all hunters from moving from that area as well, not just Joker. So... There's a lot to consider there. That's really something new. That's really something new that we learned today. So that's very nice. That this is the kind of kind of play, uh, gameplay we want to see. Toy Merchant back upstairs here though. Two and a half side for machines are done. Four side for machine at 50%. But four side for machine doesn't really matter that much. Because four can uh, harass for quite a bit of time. Because as long as we have the last two uh, cypher machines decoding by technicality, the cyphers are enough here. We are going to be able to see Toy Merchant nearby. Toy Merchant once again jumping on towards the catapult. But Toy Merchant as well can just actually hide behind that area and just play around. This will force uh, Joker from using Blink. This will have to use, force Joker from using Blink. But we have to get rid of that. We really do have to get rid of that. Uh, a little bit unfortunate here for Igwai Bush. There's nothing you can do. That catapult placement basically blocks all type of hunters. That catapult placement blocks all type of hunters. So that's very scary. This is such a great play from Toy Merchant. My lord. The more more reasons to point ban Toy Merchant and I guess really just more reasons to ban Toy Merchant. No then. Let's see here. We're gonna be looking for anti current instead. But looking for anti wouldn't be the best choice of it all because dash. Because of dash. Um Flywheel was used. I don't know why Flywheel was used, probably just, well, I don't think Flywheel should have been used there as well, because Namiko by technicality did manage to cancel the rocket dash, so that's a 90 second cooldown, so even if you blinks there, he doesn't have to 10 seconds, wasn't over, uh, which is a little bit weird for me, I guess, but we are able to get the normal hit, we're still trying to play mind games here, and there goes out Namiko immediately. Okay, Cypher Machine is almost primed. Uh, for anti curing here, probably what would be the best is just to play for a little bit longer. Preferably, if we can have Toy Merchant throwing down a catapult somewhere, probably wouldn't be good at all. But, uh, Female Dancer seems like she's gonna start deploying slow music boxes. And, hmm. The thing is, we're getting ready for a four-man escape endgame. That's what we're doing right now. Right now, it's, right now, it's a survivor game, not a hunter game. Hunter doesn't really have detention. It's a survivor game. We could teleport towards Toy Merchant, but even if you do, there's still a 60% Cypher Machine on anti current side. So that's not going to do you much. That's really not going to do you much, sadly. Joker's items are going to be de depleted little by little, and that's going to be a forward cancelling everything. Ouch. Honestly speaking, ouch. Forward cancel dash. This is, this is honestly just bullying Joker by this point. Thor can actually keep pulling balls to cancel his rocket so he's, he's nothing left to use endgame. That is such, such, such a nasty move, honestly. It's a great move, but it's honestly nasty. It is a great move, but it's honestly nasty. You can't disagree with that. Now then, we're going to be looking for anti, not anti, Anne here. Uh, Toy Merchant rushing out. The exit gate is currently at 34%. We are going to be able to see a hit. But even with the... I don't think you're going to be able to make it towards the ex, uh, dungeon. I don't think you're going to... Oh, no. Oh, okay, they made it. Okay, they made it. I forgot Clown doesn't have movement speed boost. That's really bad. Let's congratulate the four-man escape here. Four-man escape here for AWG survivors and for AWG winning. Let's move on towards second half. Well, round three for today.